Hello! In this video I'm going to take a look at some of the Dragon's Teeth Easter Eggs. These aren't all the Easter Eggs in Dragon's Teeth, these are the ones I've been able to reproduce and confirm. And I'm not going to look at things to do with the Phantom Initiate, we'll check out those in another video. So for the first of these Easter Eggs, we're on Lumfini Gardens. And you can do this before or after the Levolution. If it's after the Levolution like this, you can only do it at the B Valve. So on Lumfini Gardens, there are two Valve buildings, A and B. A gets buried by the Levolution, but you can still do this at B. And what you need to do is blow these doors off. So either with explosives or the rocket, you just need to blow the bloody doors off, to quote the Italian job. Inside, you'll see a radio. Now, these radios are pretty gloomy and dark, so I'll try and get a bit closer to it. I have my UI turned off, but you'll see a little message to activate the radio. And what you'll get is a series of clicks and the occasional buzz when you try doing it. Nothing's going to happen at this point unless you have the right dog tag. So for this easter egg you need the franchise veteran dog tag. That means you must have played one of the earlier games. So if you haven't played something like Battlefield 3 or Bad Company 2 you won't have the franchise veteran dog tag and so you can't do this little easter egg. But if you do have it and equip it when you go back to the radio this happens. The radio starts playing a few different versions of the Battlefield 1942 theme in a bit of a medley. So there's the standard one, an orchestral one, and I think there's a couple of other different variations in there. Other than that, these radios don't do anything. People are trying activating both at the same time, but nothing different happens. next easter egg is on Pearl Market and it's in this alleyway with the scaffolding and our interest is in these windows here. They're not accessible from inside the building but they are accessible from outside if you've got a bit of explosives. So if you come up onto the roof and take out this chain link fence you can see that although it looks like you can get to them down that ledge Actually, there's a sign blocking it off, so you can't get to those windows directly. So we're going to have to go back up onto the roof and look for another way. Now, there's a sign blocking off the other side as well. And you can get to that by just going up this little roof slope and dropping down. But again, there's a sign blocking off these windows. Now, with a bit of C4, you can destroy the front of that little building and that opens up a room. The way to access the room is to go along the ledge, drop down onto the sign and then jump and crouch onto the other ledge. The crouching seems to stop you bouncing off. Inside the room we've got some toy dinosaurs and some rubber ducks. I'm not sure why there's a room that you need to blow the front off that's full of rubber dinosaurs and rubber ducks but there is, and they seem quite friendly. Next easter egg is quite easy to find, but quite hard to show. It's on Sunken Dragon, and it is sunken. It's a dinosaur skull under the water, but because you've got to swim under the water, it's quite hard to stay still and show you the damn thing. But it is there, looks like a kind of T Rexy Raptory skull, but it's not big enough to be a T Rex. But it's got lots of teeth, and you can only see it when the basin is full of water. When it's dry, it doesn't show up. And if you want to see it yourself, it's at the southern end of the basin, and it's in this kind of ring of boats down here. So have fun swimming. 
This is an audio easter egg and it's on Lumfini Gardens. There are several of these little pagodas dotted around and in all of them but one there's silence. But if you go to the back of the map to the pagoda that's next to the cafe you'll hear something a bit unusual. Now I'm not sure if this is technically an easter egg but as it only happens in one place and you can't hear the sound from outside I think it probably counts. Now there's nowhere inside this building that the sound could be coming from. There's no radios, there's no speakers, there's no nothing. It's just the sound of chanting when you come into this building. And as soon as you go outside, it stops. Still on the Mfini Gardens, we're now going to have to look under the water near the D point in Conquest Large. And if we swim down here, we're going to see a map on this wall. And it's a map of Paracel's storm. And there's some Chinese writing next to it. And that Chinese writing says, look out for the monster, it's real. Now we already know there's a Megalodon, that's on Nanchar Strike. But this seems to imply that there is another monster, and it's on Paracel's storm. And it's pretty easy to check. If we take the map from the wall and draw over it, taking the outline that it gives us, and then overlay that onto a map of Paracel Storm, you can see that they fit exactly. So even though I did a very rough outline of the map on the wall, it fits the real map of Paracel Storm almost exactly. This next easter egg isn't likely to be there when you go looking for it. It's on all of the maps that involve a raw box. So if there's a raw on the map, there's a chance you're going to get this easter egg. But it does take a lot of hunting for because it seems to be random whether or not it appears. So it's not on that one, and it's not on that one. Not on this one, and it's not on this one. Again, it's not on this one. And again, it's not on this one. So I looked through about 20 of these boxes before I finally found this little Easter egg. And it's on this box here. And you can see on the top, it's got raw written on it in what looks like black marker pen. And on the side of the box, there's something else written. It's a bit hard to make out because it's small and it's sideways and parts of it have been crossed out. But we can make it a bit easier to look at with telescopic sight. And there you can see, although it's sideways, another map of Parastel Storm. Plus something crossed out equals half of something. If we rotate that and zoom in you can clearly see there's a map of Parastel Storm plus something crossed out and that equals something cut off by the terrain and across the top it says shh I had to hide part of it you were making it and then it's lost in the snow so I had to borrow this image from online because typically the box I found with the image on didn't have it all because it was buried in the snow so as you can see Paracel Storm plus Squiggle equals jaw with lots of teeth and the full phrase across the top is shh I had to hide part of it you were making it too easy so this seems to be another hint that doing something on Paracel Storm brings out a monster and there is a clue on the Paracel Storm map as to where you might have to do this and it's on top of this radar tower and it's hard to see without the torch, but on the side of the tower, you can quite clearly see R-A-W-R. -R. So the tower's got raw written on it in exactly the same style as is written on top of the box. So it looks like we have another Paracel Storm monster hunt. 
So that's it for my look at the Easter eggs. Now I know there are a few other interesting things you can go look at on the maps, but my idea of an Easter egg is it's got to be hidden or at least hard to find, not something that's just stuck on a wall or playing in the background. And I know these ones were all real because I've gone out and filmed them all myself. So, hope that's a bit interesting. You can go out and find them yourself. If you don't have the franchise veteran dog tag, then I'll put a link in the description to the 1942 theme mix. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.